Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In the last session, I have discussed functions. Uh, now we will see task. This task and functions are very similar. The major difference between task and function is in function we have seen that uh, the function cannot consume any time in delay or it should not contain any time controlled statements, right? But in system log allows you to insert this timing delay or time control statements in task. So the definition goes like this. A task that may or may not consume simulation time returns values as output or in-out argument type and may or may not take arguments. In task, it may or may not consume simulation type and return values as output or in-out argument type. In functions, it will return the value, but it, it can be input type, right? But in task, it returns values as output or in-out argument type and may or may not take arguments, okay? The syntax, here also we have two styles. One is task and end task. Here we have to use task and end task. In function, function and end function. Similarly, in task, task and end task. And task name, here you need to mention the uh, port, uh, port list, port direction, okay? Input, in, out, or output. Another style is inside the task and end function, we can insert the, uh, the port list, port direction, okay? These are all the two styles to write the syntax. Now we will see similarities between function and task. So this function and task are very similar. Now we will see what are all the similarities, okay? Both support default arguments and arguments have input direction by default unless it is specified. Unless and until you specified the direction, it will consider the input direction by, by default, okay? The port direction is input only and it will support the default arguments. And it can declare a static variable in automatic task and automatic variable in static task. Similarly, in functions also, we can insert the static variable in automatic function and automatic variable in static functions. Multiple statements can be written without using a begin and end block. This point is uh, I have not mentioned in function, but in Verilog, if multiple statements are there, we need to use the begin and end. But now, now it is also removed from the Verilog also in 2005. So because this function and end function, task and task, this by the function itself is a one block, right? Begin and end. In the statement only, in the syntax only, it has function, end function, task, end task. So why we need one more begin and end? So that's why they removed. So multiple statements can be written without using a begin and end block in system very long. The default argument data type is logic unless it is specified. Here, the argument data type default argument data type is logic and passing value by name reference value and position is allowed similarly in functions also we can pass by the value pass by reference and pass by position and name right so similarly in task also we can pass the arguments by value by reference by position and name the return keyword is used to premature return from a task or function the only difference is that function can return a value and a task cannot return any value when the return keyword is used. So in function, we can use the return keyword to return some value or expression. But in a similar way, you cannot use the return keyword inside the task because you can use the return keyword inside the task when, when to premature the return from a task. Premature return means uh, when it reaches the return keyword, it will come out of the task or function. Premature return, even though if you have a statements after the return statement, okay, if you have a statements after the return statement, it will come out of the loop when it reaches the return statement. So this is called the premature return, okay? So you can use the, the return keyword to premature the return from a task, but you cannot use the return keyword to return some value or expression like a function, okay? This is the one thing you need to remember. This is the difference between function and task, okay? By default, task and functions are automatic in classes and they are commonly known as class methods. So I already discussed this uh, statement by default, it is static in module. This both function and task are static in modules by default. But when you implement the task and functions inside that class, that time it will become an automatic by default. Okay. You need to remember this. When we are discussing class oops concept, I will again recall this thing. Okay. We'll discuss this thing. So by default, task and functions are automatic in classes and they are commonly known as class methods. This is, these are all the similarities between function and task. And these are the some difference between function and task. Only three difference I have mentioned. Or you can find more also. 
so for uh, task examples i will not explain again because in previous video i already discussed the examples so you can use the same examples for uh, task also so practice the those examples with the task and thank you